Hi, it is Aida Bashkil Martin. Welcome to my first YouTube video. I'll discuss with you today human anatomy and physiology of the spinal cord. And if you would like to watch more videos from me, please feel free to click the subscribe button below. I guarantee you, after watching this uh, PowerPoint video, uh, uh, at the end you will be able to describe the location dimensions, functions, and features of the spinal cord, and able to identify features of spinal cord on the models. Spinal cord has two main functions, relaying the information from brain to periphery, and carry the sensory information from periphery to brain. Secondly, it's a center for spinal reflexes to respond quickly to a harmful stimuli to protect the body. Spinal cord begins at the foramen magnum of occipital bone right after medulla oblongata and ends between L1 and L2 lumbar vertebrae in adults, in newborn and young children. This level is uh, extend to the L3. And spinal cord found in the spinal canal of this vertebral column. A vertebral uh, column has another name, spine. Uh, uh, spinal cord protected by three layers of membranes, we call meninges, and cushioned uh, uh, the, by cerebrospinal fluid, which flows in the subarachnoid space and central canal. Now, we will discuss the, some features of the spinal cord on the models. First of all, when we look at this vertebrae, uh, we see the bony vertebrae, and which, what type of vertebrae we, we can see it. And as you see the, in number six, showing you a bifid uh, sp spinous processes, and number seven, showing you there is a foramen on the transverse uh, 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 transverse processes and that two uh, landmarks gives us clue this is a cervical vertebrae and uh, because of that you can see the spinal cord has to be a cer cervical segment of the spinal cord. Now in this PowerPoint I try to the label with the colors the yellow colors the meninges Starting from the most innermost layer, number one, labeled with number one, it's pia matter, almost attached to the spinal cord itself. And number two uh, is the sac middle layer, we call arachnoid layer. And the lastly, the outermost layer, number three, again, orange color coded, yellow orange color coded, and dura mater. Dura mater continues uh, to cover, uh, the, you see the spinal ganglia, which is show. No, and with the number eight on the left side, to left bottom. Um, so three layers of meninges protect the spinal cord, but we uh, they created uh, three uh, 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 d three different spaces. We will discuss the two space here. First, number four, labeled with the number four, subarachnoid space. That means uh, below the arachnoid matter. We have subarachnoid space, that is the space the cerebrospinal fluid flows through. And number five, called epidural space, because it is located above the dural matter. And you see number five epidural space filled with the, the uh, adipose tissue and blood vessels. And you can see the, when you focus on the uh, spinal cord itself, and you will see gray matter, and it's like a butterfly shape gray matter, or modified H, and uh, gray matter uh, embedded into white matter, right? Now I uh, uh, labeled for you uh, the, the, uh, the gray and white matters, name of the gray and white matters. Now, when we look, the gray matter is referred as horn. So, if it is in the posterior, we will call it posterior or dorsal. They can the posterior and dorsal can be used interchangeably. Um, uh, so, posterior uh, uh, horn 
and here labeled with the number nine and uh, responsible for sensory processing. Anterior horn, however, uh, uh, labeled with the eleven, number eleven, and number ten showing the lateral horn. And gray matter has interneurons and cell body of the neurons and dendritus. On the other side, white matter has the myelinated axons of neurons. And that's how they form. And number 12 showing the dorsal column or dorsal uh, uh, funiculi. And number 13, lateral uh, column or funiculi. And number 14, and uh, label for anterior column or anterior funiculi. Now, how I know this is anterior, this is posterior? If you have this uh, model, you can easily identify because there is the, uh, uh, you can see the spinous processes in the back and, and corpus of the, uh, or body of the uh, um, vertebrae in the front. But if you don't have, how are you going to do it? And I'll show you in the next slide. Let's focus. You have two landmarks. First, spinal ganglia. Spinal ganglia located in the, the posterior, uh, uh, posterior side. So I know that this is the spinal ganglia. This side is posterior. And another landmark you can see in the midline, you have in the middle of the gray matter a canal. We call this central canal. It's CSF flows in it. And surrounded with the gray matter, this area surrounding the central canal, we call commissure, spinal commissure. And here in the white matter, you see a shallow groove in the back. We call this posterior median uh, uh, sulca, sulcus and in the front you see deep and wider groove and this is the anterior median fissure so as you see anterior uh, uh, um, groove is wider and deeper so it gives you an idea this side is anterior as you may see in this uh, uh, picture on the uh, right bottom and spinal uh, 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 ganglia has the uh, body of the uh, sensory neuron. Here you can see the, the spinal arteries and veins. When you look at the spinal cord histology and you can see under microscope that you can see the spinal, uh, spinal cord and the pointer is pointing in which structure? Can you guess? Yes, it's a dorsal horn. Uh, uh, you can see the bipointer. I wanted to give you a little bit of clinic application. Spinal cord embryologically develops from the neural tube, and neural uh, tube development uh, uh, and closure of neural tube is important. To do that, a mother uh, uh, requires to have enough uh, folate, vitamin B9. And we can see the vitamin B9 found naturally in bananas, green leaves, legumes, uh, uh, and oranges. And But uh, the, the mother can be given a, a folic acid, is the synthetic form of vitamin B9. Uh, um, before, I mean, the before or during the pregnancy, uh, to prevent this uh, uh, cl clinical situation. Spina bifida is a birth defect that occurs when the spine and spinal cord don't form properly. And worldwide incidence uh, is one uh, per 1,000 birth. It may change uh, in some countries, this uh, uh, incidence. For example, in South America, this incidence is uh, uh, rising until 11 uh, per 1,000 bird. Now, that is the test your knowledge. Please feel free to uh, uh, check your knowledge uh, through this uh, uh, slide and I hope you enjoyed it, you learned it and please uh, don't forget to uh, click the subscribe button and uh, uh, hope to see you again. Bye!